Ain't got nobody to make me a theme song, so let's just do a video game. So this Nando and I were checking out the demo for Faceted Flight. It does have a VR option, hence why the controls are kind of very first person. But um, we're doing the regular windowed mode because I don't have a headset, and even if I try to record for a headset, it'd probably look pretty weird as a video. So um, yeah, let's hope we don't get nauseous. All right, um, try exploration first, just because I don't know what we're getting into here. It's kind of cool that it's first person, although I probably would have preferred a vehicle external view, because I'm a chump like that. Oh, there's orbs too? Okay, let's find some orbs. Oh good, and the sticks are automatically where they should be. Left stick does most of your things. Uh, rolling your yaw is on the right stick. You can change that too if you want. But I see no need to. Hey, that looks like an orb. not get it. Alright, um, get some distance here and we'll turn around. If I can find where the orb was. There it is. And level up. There we go. Apparently there's a reverse too. Okay, yeah. If you hold B. I probably should have just used that. I kind of like the idea of just flying straight on them. I kind of want to approach the clouds and see what uh, is up with those. Can you fly through them? Or do they hurt when you fly into them? I guess we'll find out. It's neat though. It's cute. There doesn't seem to be a limit on Afterburner, which is something I was worried about. So will this boot me? Nope, you can fly right through it. Mm, it doesn't give you a fog effect or anything, but you can fly right through it. And a good view of the ground below. Alright, orb me. Just worried about clipping them out in there. Bronze medal awarded. And it kind of defaults to, um, Ooh. I have that up. Yeah, it defaults to zero, so I guess it's more of a flying saucer than a jet. But I'm okay with that. I see one in a canyon. Let's not get too close to the water here. Ooh. Some altitude to the mountains. Yeah, it's pretty intuitive controls. I don't think you can change the sensitivity. I'd like to do that, but whatever. And that is six. Halfway there. So I think it was going to give it to me. Okay, I do see one off to the right. We'll grab this one first. I kind of like the little carrier down there too, it's cute. So we need four more. I like to do another climb and then examine, maneuver. See one over here though. Level off. One right over there too. Okay, cool. Go 
gold is awarded. What do I get for getting the last three? Plat. I think the yaw instead of the stick. Not bad. Aha, there's one. Going in hot. We're gonna have to pull over really fast. Just ease it in, ease it. Okay. Yeah, that hover capability is pretty nice. All right, let's take a topside. Take a look down at the deck. Okay, that was way too topside. Unless, oh, hey! You sneaky Pete. All right, that'll wrap it up. Platinum awarded. All right, let's fly her back to base. And we'll call that a mission. Sorry, I like to be sideways a lot. Such is life. The question is, how do I land? Uh, do I land? Oh, nope, that makes a ting noise. Maybe we have to s hit start. Boop. That does nothing. Oh, okay. Select. That does it. And we out. Let's try this ring thing. Take a look around here. It's nice that it's its own little room. Right, let's try a ring attack. I love the lobby music. It's really cute. All right, don't crash. I'm kind of wondering if the levels are procedurally generated or if they're set. It looks about the same, but I could be wrong. one. That's fine. Everything's fine. Nope. Missed it. Ugh. It's two down. And the afterburner doesn't actually work unless you've got the throttle going as well. Which is probably good. For chumps like me. Who aren't entirely sure what they're doing. And why, yes, yeah, so I do play World of Warplanes and I spend most of my time sideways trying to not get killed. Oh, out of time. You gotta go really fast to clear everything. But uh, yeah, there you go. There's the two modes in faceted flight. And um, I like it, it's cute. If you have a VR device, it's probably even better on that. But um, yeah, if you like uh, flight sims, it's worth a, at least check it out the demo. I don't know how much the full version's gonna be, but seems all right to me. 
Thanks for stopping by and watching this video. If you'd like to like, comment, and or subscribe, by all means, do so. If not, don't feel pressured. If you're looking for more new content, click the right thumbnail. If you're looking for more old content, click the left thumbnail, or go rifling around in the many playlists we have on this channel. You can also check out Nagobo.com for written work, stream highlights, and a slightly more organized batch of playlists from this channel. It's where all my gaming related stuff goes. Twitch.tv slash is where I stream every day, and you can follow that for more content all of the time. There's also my Twitter account where you can catch my inane ramblings on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you'd like to support me doing more of these videos, more streaming, and more pretty much surviving, by all means, please click that Patreon link. Every little bit helps.